Well, which one was this from, Grandad? This one. You probably don't recognise the face, but perhaps you should. Mike Kenny is Britain's most decorated Paralympic athlete. His 16 swimming gold medals and two silvers still have pride of place in his living room, but not, it seems, in the nation's memory. So somebody's airbrushed me out of, you know, the medal tally. You get everybody else's name mentioned in print and on the TV, etc., etc., but you won't find mine. Mike was paralysed in an accident when he was 26 and only took up swimming as part of his physio. He competed in four Paralympics and was even fated by royalty, but all that's been forgotten. This is of Princess Diana, I told you when we went to a ball. As life returned to normal for Mike, other athletes like Tanny Gray-Thompson, who only got 11 golds, has been made a baroness. So does he think he should get a title? If you ask my family, they will say yes. They feel as though I... I'm not appreciated by the, the powers that be. I don't know why, though. But this film might rectify that. <laughs> so far, his only involvement in 2012 has been from a distance. He was invited to the flame ceremony, but couldn't face the cost and journey from his home in Manchester. That's where Five News stepped in, arranging to take Great Britain's most successful Paralympian down to London. It seemed only right as Great Britain hosts the biggest ever Paralympics. Mike's granddaughter got so fed up with people overlooking his achievements, she took to Twitter to put the facts straight. He gets more recognition for what he deserves because I believe he deserves a lot more and I'm proud of him. He's my inspiration, my granddad, and I'm extremely proud. Today's games are nothing like Mike's memories. So how does it feel for a Paralympic hero of the past to finally visit the games of 2012? Some recognition at last? No, just a friend from home this time. His obscurity might just be down to bad timing. The British Paralympic Association was only set up a year after he retired. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mike says he never wanted to make a fuss just to confirm his place in Paralympic history. Rebecca Barry, Five News.